over here I have an in copy document. So now let's uh, export this out in a PDF format. And to do that, you have to go to file right over here. And then once you go to file, you can see that export is an option right here. So once you click on export, what happens is that you have several options to export the document. So I can go over into my desktop and you can see that you can export it as a P uh, TXT, you can export it as a PDF file, EPS, RDF and other uh, formats as you can see. But in this lesson, we're going to export this into a PDF format and let's see the options that it gives us while exporting a PDF document. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, select this part out just like this. So it's document.pdf as the file name right here. So I'm just going to go around and click on save and let's see the options that it gives us. So the first one is layout as you can see right here. So uh, I have an option to uh, export out the layout view or galley and story view. So I'm just going to go around with layout for this one. And then I can choose compatibility options for different Acrobat versions right here. I can select the number of pages. So in my case, I only have one page, but you have an option to select the range of pages that you want to export. Then you can choose pages or spread right here. And then you can have subset of uh, fonts right over here where percentage of characters uses less than 100. So you can export out the fonts over here as well. So you can include notes if you want to. So if you have notes included or if you have page information, you can opt include these as well. And then you can optimize for fast web preview as well if you're planning to upload this uh, some, uh, some upload this online. Uh, you can also embed, embed page thumbnails if you want to and include appearances that is bold and everything else will be included. And you can check this off called view PDF after exporting. If you were to go to security settings, then you can add in a password over here as well so that there's a layer of security in order uh, of to open your document. So let's say I'm just going to type in tutor tube just like this. So I'm just going to type in tutor tube as the password and password required to change permission. So tutor tube, I'm just going to add it in uh, to add in more security. And you can see that these are the permissions you can give it in. For example, there's no printing, no changing of the document, no content copying or extraction, disable accessibility and no changing. So if you want to uh, make your document really secure, then you can enable these options as well. So I have everything enabled. So I'm just going to press save and right over here, it says the document open and permission and password cannot be the same. So it has to be different. So I'm just going to type in tutor tube two right here and I'm going to press okay. So here it says confirm password to open up document. In my case, it's tutor tube and confirm password to change. So tutor tube two. So I'm just going to press okay and the security setting has been applied. And over here, I'm just going to select the latest version and export this out. So once I export this out, you can see that now as I open up uh, the uh, now the document is open up, it is asking me for password. So I'll have to type that in right here. So I'm just going to go around, type into the tube uh, and press OK, just like this. So now I can access the file as you can see right here you Can select this out you Can go around. But to edit, you can see that it asks me password. So without uh, us having the password, we won't be able to edit this out. So if I were to type in wrong password, it says the password is incorrect. So even when I, so just when I type in tube 2 and press enter, I'll be able to edit this document as you can see right here. So it's very, very secure. So another thing, thing that you can do is export the story and the galley view. So for that, I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to export again and then select PDF. So this is going to be document Two, let's say for example, and then I'm going to press save. So over here, I'm going to go around and select galley and story. And here are different options as you can see. So I can choose the compatibility again I, and I can choose the font. So let's say for example, I want Arial rounded font and you have other option right here. Like you can include page information, you can include story information, inline notes if you want that as well. And you can add in track changes as well, track changes settings. And as with other document, you have 
security settings as well. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it blank and I'm going to click on view PDF after exporting. And once I export it, let's see the format. So over here, this is story and a galley view as you can see. So you got these information right here on the left and you got the paragraph right here with Arial rounded font uh, used as the main font for the content. So that is how you can export out uh, in copy document uh, in PDF. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.